It's only interview roll one, take one. My parents came over from Vietnam to Australia as refugees and I was born here in Australia. I was the first generation of refugees in Australia. My father was an alcoholic. He was drinking like it was water. After seeing my mum beat, my sisters beat, getting beat myself. He left a, a deep desire to be accepted in my own. And so I found this acceptance in a gang at 13 years old. The group of guys that I hung with, they end up being dealers on the street. So after school, they'll go and deal. I see them make money and have things which I wanted. The train station was, you know, the shop front. And, um, man, if you were white and you got off the train, then uh, be sure that you'll be asked to get on and score. It was just dealing, going, going on right in front of you. There would be no, no um, hiding it. It would just be point blank, just in your face. At 15 years old, I was pulling in thousands and thousands of dollars. But eventually, what came along with that was an addiction. Heroin gave me a little escape from my reality. The reality of the pain that I felt in my heart throughout my life. I'll take up to two grams a day. Um, I was first smoking it and then I started injecting heroin. It's like you wake up and you can't go a day without it. It's like an air that you need to breathe. And I've lost six friends to murder. Six friends to heroin overdose. 29 years old. I had enough of this life that I was living, on and off drugs, in and out of prison, having friends die, I'm at the end of myself. And so I go to the church that I was raised up in. So I asked him with tears in my eyes, running down my face, if you were there, then please give me a sign. The very next day I was walking through Cabramatta, this guy handed me a flyer with the words written on it, if you're looking for a sign from God, here it is. I was amazed. I took that fly and I was in awe of what I saw. Right there in the middle of the BKK Cabramatta Mall where everyone knew me as a dealer, I bursted out crying and weeping. And that was the day that I said, you know what, no more of that life. I'm turning from that life and I'm going down another direction and there's going to be no turning back and that's what I did. No longer on heroin, no longer bound to drugs or gangs, but totally set free.